the tiny teacher. Hello friends, name the smallest and the wisest insect. Is it the fly? Is it the mosquito? Is it the worm? Is it the ant? I'll give you a couple of seconds and you can predict your own answer. What do you think? That's right, it's the clever ant. The smallest but the wisest insect. The story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue. But people have kept ants as pets and have watched their daily behavior closely. So we know a number of facts about this tiny, hardworking and intelligent creature. An ant uses its feelers or antenna to talk to other ants by passing messages through them. There are many kinds of ants. The commonest among them are the black or red ones. We have seen them since we were children, but we haven't paid enough attention to them. Hey Jake, what are you thinking? I'm really confused with where these tiny creatures live. That's a nice question, Jake. I will teach you. The ants live in their comfortable homes called nest or antlers. Each has hundreds of little rooms and passages. In some of these rooms, the queen ant lays some eggs. Others are the nurseries for the young ones called grubs. Workers have their resort quarters. They spend most of their time in searching for food. Some rooms serve as storehouses for this food. No worker have ever tried to live in a soldier's house. So you see, an ant's life is very peaceful. Each does its share of work intelligently and bravely and never fights with each other members of the group. The queen ant is the mother of the entire population of the colony. It lives for about 15 years. Thank you for watching.